welcome to Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Live. While I've got a cake in my mouth, when stressed, you know what, eat something. So, let me get rid of the cake. If you want to win tickets for Cake and Bake, okay, we've got tickets here available. All you need to do is share this feed. Share it, share it with everybody, pop on our Facebook page, like it, share it, pay up, pop on our group, wherever you want, go to Google, go to YouTube, wherever you want. At the end of this feed, I'm gonna pop a post up and all those who have shared everywhere, pop your name up with where you've shared it, where you've been. Just give us those thumbs up. Do only apply if you think you can go to the um, event. It's the Cake and Bake Show. It's at Excel, and the dates are 5th to the 7th of October. Um, it's a free day event. These tickets will get you in for one day. You can choose any day, and we'll be sending out pairs of tickets. I'm going to pick 10 winners, okay, for these tickets. So that means you'll get two tickets each. Please don't do like people have done over previous years, enter the competition. So if you want to enter, which is great in supporting us, please do, but do say you don't want tickets. If you do want tickets, do say you'd like to win some tickets. Um, they're not a given, you'll all get them. You're just trying to win them, okay? We'll need to sort it out by tomorrow so I can get them out on Monday's post for you. So please like and share. So we're going to quickly just run through everything again. The buttercream, it's 500 grams of butter. I use unsalted butter. I only use cheap value butter from any supermarket because I use flavoured icing sugar. I have it at room temperature and I use a kilo of icing sugar, 500 grams of flavoured icing sugar, 500 grams of plain icing sugar. Do sieve the plain icing sugar. Our flavoured icing sugar is really quite fine because it's been through the blender several times. But when you get normal icing sugar, it can be clumpy. Having said that, I've not sieved it today. We're doing all right, but if I end up some lumps, then you know that's what's happened. So we're gonna quickly go through them again. I've done a couple of cuppies already, but let's just go through a couple of the ones again, just for the feed this time, because we're not gonna put the previous feed on YouTube, okay? So I am just going to crumb coat my cake. And uh, just had to laugh to the girls, because my back is killing me today, leaning over. Um, I, they had to keep adjusting the camera because I've got a pale top on, so it could have been a different show. <laughs> so, so thanks girls for looking after me. So this one is called Daisy, okay? And it's a lovely nozzle. You must stick your um, nozzle onto the cake, yeah? We're using the fractal colors today. You can see them below. So you stick the nozzle onto the cake and you make sure that you bring your flour up to the same height. Don't have different size flowers, like you don't want that one, do you? If you do make it too small, just sit it on top and bring it up again. Yeah, there we go. Your buttercream needs to be of a medium consistency, not firm, it needs to be soft. So it needs to be on the softer side, okay, of medium. We're going to use a three. Where well, we put in the little tip. You could make these pink, you could make them blue. You could have different colour centres, you could make them into fantasy flowers. I'll go through the leaves again in a minute. So just to speed up, where's my leaf nozzle? Focus there, Laura. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I keep turning your cake round as well. Um, the one thing I do notice, some people decorate and they decorate with the cake like that. Ideally, you should hold the cake in your hand so that you can twist it around. Yeah, so that's the daisy one there. Just press the foil back up. I'm going to put that one on there. We'll go back to do the lotus flower. For those who missed it before. My kitchen's really cold. So in the summer, your buttercream will be soft. Somebody asked about royal icing before. So um, are you all back, by the way? Yeah, there's a lot of people <laughs> back with us now. Yeah, and yeah. can you see everything now? Yeah, it's... Right. I've got a lot of comments saying it's right. much better. Great. 
So um, the royal icing, I don't put royal icing in my buttercream, never have. I can't really give you any feedback about it because I don't really know. And in the summer, I didn't really struggle too much with it, if I'm really honest. I, um, but I tend to decorate at night time, during the day, night time rather than during the day. So this one is the lotus flower. This is one of the extra large nozzles. So squeeze onto the base, up and relax. Squeeze onto the base, up and relax. Squeeze up onto the base, up and relax. Like a little ax. Are you laughing there? Like a little exercise, isn't it? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Laura? <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna put our leaves on again. And I'll explain to you in a minute why I say squeeze up and relax. See how pretty that one is there. So the, the stamens are staying up there because that's the top one, but you know when they're on sideways, they will fall down, but that's how flowers are, yeah. So we'll just push that one down there. And then we're going to do, put them out of the way. Yeah, Maria's cleaning up there. <laughs> so we'll get another cuppy. Any questions, Laura? No, just everyone joining back on saying it's much better. Good. And That's thank you like. for restarting. Yeah, <laughs> good, as long as you're all happy. So we're just getting all our cupcakes prepared. I'm going to show you, after I've done a few of these, I'm going to show you some of the mistakes and leaves and stuff like that. So let's bear with me because I need to bit make a few cupcakes. So there we go. So which one's this one? It's not this one, we want this one. Yeah. Do them in order. Am I in focus there? Yeah. So you must sit your cupcake onto the base, up, one centimetre, relax your fingers, let go. So I don't know if you can see that. Up, one centimetre, relax your fingers, let go, you don't need to pull it off. Up, relax, let go. Up, relax. Up, relax, into the middle. And we'll do our leaves. It's called the Sun Dancer Cup. The Sun Dancer and Sun Dancer Cup. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. So we've got that one. So those are the extra large nozzles. I like showing you the extra large because so many people get this really big nozzle and think, oh, I can't put that on a cupcake. Well, you can. Just put five on. Six on. Six on there, yeah. Yeah, can't count. <laughs> okay. It's always best to dome your cupcakes as well. So. That's a bit dodgy. I like using foils because you can bend these back. So let's just do a little base again. And then we'll get the night jasmine one. So the night jasmine, there's jasmine and night jasmine. The night jasmine has got stamens in the middle. Can you see the stamens? Whereas the jasmine has to swirl right the way through. When I'm making, uh, when I'm using nifty nozzles, I try to just keep with two colours and white if I can. Um, if you start making loads of colours, you'll end up dividing your buttercream with that many different colours that you won't have enough to fill your piping bags. And because we've come back to do this session again, I'll talk to you about piping bags in a minute. Yeah, um, Lucy Ann's just said, how do you two-tone the leaves, please? Yeah. But it's, it's exactly the same method exactly as two-toning. Exactly the same, method. Exactly same method as I did before, but we will do another nozzle. Yeah, just to show you. So let me just get this third one because I've got to do three of each cupcake. And the colours that Carol's using today are back from the Fractal range. Yeah. So there's an absolutely gorgeous range of colours. Can you see um, them? Yep, can see them there. All right. So... The, the Fractal range, I use two ranges. I use the Colour Splash range and I use the Fractal range. The Fractal range, Maria's going to pull these out of the way again in a minute. 
Um, the Fractal range is because they're suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and those on a halal diet, okay? So they're super. So I'll get those out of the way so that Maria can film again. And then we'll just do the last one of these and then we'll have three. So you can see, up and up, relax your fingers, relax your fingers, relax your fingers. We'll do the leaves. And then we're gonna get the green board out and just show you how to do the leaves and some of the things that you do as mistakes. So do we want to say any hellos to anybody? Um, so yeah, well, we've got lots of familiar names, obviously regular people who join us each week, which is very much appreciated. We've got Elaine Lawton, Sue Hi, Barker, Elaine. Gillian Sampson, Gina Lee. Um, Hi, Gina. <laughs> Joe Gina. Fitchett. <laughs> um, we had Johnny Johnny watching us as well before. Oh, He's our, our, our Wake Off winner. Um, so yeah, anybody new, please say hi, share um, any comments or questions that you've got and we'll try and get through through them, but the feed does move very quickly. So if we miss anything, we will try and come back to you once we've finished. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the green board now, pop on a little bit of buttercream, okay? And just show you how to do the leaves, yeah? So we're going to make use the leaves with the 352, one second. So lots of you struggle with your leaves and um, let me just need that bit of buttercream there. So lots of you struggle with your buttercream with your leaves. And what you do is you get the 352. So so you can see there, put my nail through it. See it's got a mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And lots of you do this. Can you see at that angle, Laura? Yeah. So you do this, yeah? Or you do this, yeah? Or you do that. And they're all wrong. Some of you even do this type of thing. I'm not quite sure what they are. <laughs> but what you need to do is, can you see that? Yeah. What you need to do is hit the base, one squeeze, relax, pull. One squeeze, relax, pull. One squeeze, relax, pull. Those are your little leaves, okay? If you want to make them bigger, just let me know if I go off camera. No, not at all. If you want to make them bigger, squeeze a bigger base, bit of a middle, relax and pull. A bigger base to the middle, just relax and pull. If you want to go bigger, bigger base, bigger middle, stop squeezing, relax and pull. So bigger base, bigger middle, stop squeezing, relax and pull. Yeah, do you get that? Or did I make that look yeah, too easy? No, well, I think you do anyway. I think that's what <laughs> half the problem is. So we don't want to see any more of these, yeah? Those are not leaves, okay? So just so that you've got it again, make sure that your nozzle is not that way. That's the wrong way. It has to be this way. So you sit it onto the cake, squeeze, let it touch the base, yeah? Stop and pull, that's your baby leaf. Onto the base, squeeze, stop and pull. Yep, so this is how tiny you can make it, stop and pull. If you want to make it bigger, onto the base, squeeze, then come up to the middle, make a body, stop, pull. Up, up, pull. Just got to remember to stop, yeah? Then you can go bigger, look. Stop, pull. Got it? Who's going to do them after? Leaf Queen, Amy Jo Waters <laughs> says. <laughs> Right, so that's the leaves, okay? So let's just get this in here now. Let's talk about some of the mistakes that you make with the nozzles. So the nozzles, okay, all the nifty nozzles are the registered designs of nifty nozzles. So the gentleman in Russia, Alexander Lebedev, is the original designer. Please protect him and his designs and myself. We have registered them. If they are not nifty nozzles, you have bought a Chinese copy. Chinese copies 
You know, all they do is copy people all over Chinese copy websites. They've got my images, images that I've done. I'll pop them up on the page. If you ask me, I'll get you the genuine image, pop them up on the page of all the flowers that I've done in the past that you see on other websites. You never see a Chinese man doing a demo for you. And I do loads of free demos. I show them, yes, you can buy cheap and cheerful. And yes, you have to pay more for a nifty nozzle, but you're buying a quality nozzle. The laser cuts are much better. And what they've done now is, is because we've registered all the designs, they're now putting that many little slits into the nozzle to make that uh, the, the design a little bit different that you can't actually get the buttercream through. So that's half your problem. So do buy a quality nozzle. So I know that everything comes from China, everything's made in China, but you know there's quality suppliers and not quality suppliers. All our nozzles are made in Russia by the original designer. Okay, they're food safe steel. They've all been registered here in the UK. They've all been tested here in the UK by Eurofins. And um, and the other thing is we're a genuine business. You know, when we can't, we have to apply VAT to our product. You know, we've got to pay the tax man. So everything all com comes in and is, you know, there's a cost to it. When I bring everything in, there's import duties. So do think about it, and if, if you could, I'd really appreciate it if you brought the genuine article and support us. Okay, so when we come to do the nozzle, let me just see. So let me see if my rose is working. One second. I hate just going with a, a new one, just one second. So let's just do the rose, and then I'm going to show you someone how not to do. The only thing where my rose is working is because we've had to stop for the light, to stop and restart again, my buttercream has hardened up. So I just want to make sure it's going to come out the bag a little bit. So you must always put a little thin coat. You don't need to put loads on, just a little thin coat. So the one we're using here is called Beauty. So we're going to sit it onto the cake. We're going to squeeze. We're going to come up oh, and we're going to relax. We've Ooh. got a hole in the bag. A hole in the bag. Where's that come from? It came from the back. Like, oh, yeah. the oh, right. Okay, got a hole in the bag. I thought that, you know what, I thought there was something going wrong and look at the state of my flower, I was wondering what was going on with it. <laughs> right, okay, so let's get another bag. It drives me mad when you uh, get a little hole in the bag, but something you can do, because when you put the nozzles in, it can be quite sharp. Let's get the scissors. So Sue Barker's just, uh, sorry, someone mentioned before Paula Flynn that she must book a class next year. Yeah. And Sue Barker just said that she was on one like, on the Saturday. class last Saturday. Yeah, she said yes. it was great fun. She learned a lot. She highly recommends it. And Sue, I've not forgot to ring you. I've just not had a chance. So if you message me again afterwards, I will ring you today. Just remind me via messenger. My, my feed goes so fast. And, you know, sometimes I get told off because I don't answer my emails. But some of you are quite clever. You catch me via the website. So you'll go on Zendesk. You'll go on the contact page. You'll go on my personal page. You go on the Facebook page. You go on the group page. And I've got to be honest, I don't know where I am. And some of you are very good. You just come through one line of feed, which is brilliant. So, um, but I have to answer all those questions and I do get through them as fast as I can. But sometimes I do miss one. So I am sorry about that. But every now and again, I do miss one. So don't shout, just be patient. <laughs> I am only a human, okay, and I do do it all myself. So, um, onto, the, onto the cake, squeeze, and we're up. So, can you see that beautiful rose that's just come out yeah, there? Yeah, that's perfect. So, squeeze, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. I don't know if Kat Riley's with us, but um, she, yes, she is. She normally follows my little yeah. chance. <laughs> so um, some of you will end up doing these, going squeeze, relax. Oh, we've squeeze, had all sorts relax. of comments about a eh? chance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember this is a daytime show? I know, I know. <laughs> a daytime show. Day daytime <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> So there we go. So how pretty is that there? Yeah. So with this nozzle, I'm going to show you what you all do wrong. Yeah. So I'm hoping I can show you on the board. So we've got our buttercream there. Right, Laura, am I in a good position yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. So 
you're moving those cakes out of the way so I don't squash them. So you pop the nozzle on, yeah? And some of you don't pop it on, you dangle. You can't help it, but you dangle. And then you go down, and then you come up, then you pump up and down, and then we get this type of thing. Right, does anybody recognize those? And then some of you do this. Do we get those? Mm. Are we recognizing them, guys? And then some of you do this. So, which ones do we recognize? Who does <laughs> them? Come on, be honest, I've seen them. <laughs> so, so, you don't need to do any of that, okay? You sit your nozzle onto the cake, so you must sit it on, and it's gotta be on, okay? You start to squeeze, and as you squeeze and it attaches, you come up slowly, one centimetre, relax your fingers, and it falls off. The nozzle just falls off. But a lot of you will go, and then you lose the inside. And then you go like that. And then you go like that, and then you start stamping stuff all over the place, like a mad woman going, it doesn't work. Okay? <laughs> and it does work. I've just showed you it works. So, we'll go around here. So you pop your nozzle onto the cake. You squeeze up one centimetre, you relax. Nozzle onto the cake, squeeze, relax. Look. Yeah? All the same size. You bring them all up the same size. Do you get it? Have they got it, Laura? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just going to put my buttercream in back in my bag because I've got enough now. <laughs> so just hold on. Let's hold on. Now someone's asked if we do a starter kit for knitting nozzles, which we don't, but there are a few bundles that have a, vari a, a variation of nozzles, so different designs and styles, and they're on the website. So they're, they're called dome cake bundles. There's a couple of different ones. And it's and just a, a preference. Six and the eight bundle. Yeah, there's no starter bundle because it's just a personal preference as to which design you want. Um, so they, because they all work in exactly the same way, there's nothing that we would recommend you start with. It's just a personal choice on design. Yes, yeah, some of you, you are funny, some of you. Some of you will come back to me and go, Carol, I can do it with that nozzle, but I can't do it with the other nozzle. And there's no difference. So it is user error, I'm really sorry, but there's a thing called user error. And some of you have met me and I've said that to you. It's user error. So it's just, you know what, just play with them and relax and don't get stressed. And I think where a lot of you make your mistakes is, is that you make your buttercream you make your buttercream and then you divide it into too many colours and I really think you should just use two or three colours maximum and shade it and if you're using pinks, you know, do a dark pink, a light pink and a very, very pale pink and then use white. So we're just going to finish off these roses. So onto the cake, squeeze, one centimetre, we're off, squeeze, one centimetre, we're off, squeeze, one centimetre, we're off. Oh, that was a little air bubble. So you see them? Too short. Just go back over the top. Bring them back up. You can bring them back up, up to height, so you don't need to knock them off. Pop your leaves on. If any of you have been on my classes, I don't know how many of you here has been on classes, you've always enjoyed them and we've always had a great day. I'm a totally relaxed tutor and I don't really like you going home until I know that you can do it. And, and I also, you know, you've also got to learn to play at home as well. So classes cost £99. I'm based in Stockport in Cheshire. My next class is the 10th of November. There's several people booked on there already, but I have got more space available. So uh, let's just do another one of those. Yeah, Maureen Bailey's on here and yeah. she's just saying as well that she was on the class at the weekend. Yeah, she was. She says, I can't recommend them enough. Carol is the most patient of people. I must have <laughs> drove her around the bend. No, you didn't. <laughs> well worth the money and she puts a lovely lunch on. <laughs> I think you like the lunch better. <laughs> um, no, do you know what? Everybody who comes to the class is different and they all go home with something different, but they do get it done. My disaster this week was my dome cakes, baking my dome cakes. I've never, I'm gonna start using dummy dome cakes because I really don't think I should try and bake 10 dome cakes. 
and we intended it within a few days of each other. So, uh, so that one there I've done wrong, okay? Because I wasn't concentrating. I've just gone straight in and it's too thick a base, so we'll knock that off. And we're on. And we're on. Now, people always say, how, why is the icing sugar too sweet? Without being rude, it is sugar, so it will always be sweet. If you want to take the sweetness away, I know there was a debate going on on the forum the other day, but I'm really sorry to tell you, but to take the sweetness away, you need to use unsalted butter. Uh, sorry, salted butter, not unsalted. Some of you may disagree, but it's the saltness that takes the sweetness away. Yeah? And if we get our cream cheese flavour sorted, then you'd be really happy. The only thing is, I don't know whether to, when I blend it, whether to blend it with, sorry, whether to blend it with salted butter or unsalted. So we've got those three there now. And then we're just going to use the Wilton tip here. So we're just going to use the Wilton tip here now. So fact, Kat Riley's just said Carol used to practice on rich teas, which is, yes. this is exactly what Carol used to do well, and still does at demos and things like that. Yeah, just to I do when I go to the cake shows. I'll show you actually. I'll go and get the rich teas out the cupboard. I'll go and get the rich teas out the cupboard there, Maria. And it's That's just really easy. And, um, in fact, I'll get it quicker. Maria's wondering where I'm talking about. It's all right, Maria's just switched us around as well. <laughs> um, it's, watch that cable. It's um, just a really easy way of doing it and it's no waste either. You can scrape the buttercream off and keep going with it as much as you want. But people don't, they still eat the biscuits. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't be giving us that, Laura. Yeah, when I go to the cake show sometimes, if I run out of cakes, I'll use a couple of rich tea biscuits, which is quite handy. Don't use digestive, okay? Because um, what will happen is you will, they'll break in half. So just put a little bit of buttercream on. Let's get the butter on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, see that? Mm -hmm. So dead easy. So you don't even need to go to the stress of baking cakes. You can just do white buttercream if you want to. So uh, is that yours, Maria? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> You've got your eye on the bigger picture of the cake, haven't you? <laughs> so, right. So then we're just going to use a Wilton tip, just so we can make things a little bit different. We're just going to use a Wilton tip now. Can we see on there? Yeah. Oh, it's firmed up. Oh, no, it's firmed up. Right, you're going to see me pressure this now, because it's it's been waiting a long time to be used. So let me just see if I can warm it a little bit. The thing with this kitchen is, if you have the heating on, you're too hot. If you don't have it on, you're too cold. So this is the big mama one. So you could make yourself a little sunflower with this. This is just a little rough one really, because I'm just speeding along. And then what we can do then is we can put in a couple of gold sprinkles. What are you looking at, yeah? What are you smiling at? Mary is excited for this one. Yeah. So we can just put in a couple of gold sugar crystals there. Yeah. So you've got that one. And then we're going to make a nice big rose. So let me just switch nozzle have I not used. So I've not used the marigold. I'm going to use that one now because we're going to get our cupcake bouquet put together soon. So, and I've also got to do you a big rose yet. So I know you all like that big rose. Look how pretty that is, isn't that nice? Like, just even on a biscuit. So, uh, Kat just... says she does those ones in red for Christmas. What, just on a biscuit? No, um, the big leaf. Yeah. For a pancetta. Yeah. Yeah, the loveliest pancetta. So this one is the marigold rolls, marigold. So we're just going to squeeze up and off, up and off, up and off. 
like a David Austin rose, this one inside. Mm. Oh, got an air bubble in there. Up. And if you're, if it drops down, just push it back up. There you go. Put the leaf on. Drop flower, put in a little in fat flower there if I want to. Yeah, do it like that one. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That. Yeah, so we're getting there with these flowers, they're building up. Um, no, there's a couple of questions, but people are actually answering them between themselves oh, on the what? community, which is brilliant. Yeah, we love it, you guys. You know what? You're so good at sharing information, which is brilliant. Paula Flynn has just asked, how do you stop the air bubbles, or can you even stop them from forming in the bag? If you see them, this is because um, the bag's been refilled. If you see them, you can sort of squeeze them down, but you'll never get them out. But you'll, you'll see them as you start to pipe and you just have to not pipe so hard because you don't want it to come out with a big pop. You so, get more air bubbles when you refill your bag. And the, the Wilton tip that Carol's using right now for the, for the leaves, could you just come towards the camera? Sorry. Um, that Wilton is the 365. Yeah. Yeah. 365. So three, 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 I have no idea. 352. Five, 352. Five, <laughs> Even Maria looked at me then yeah. like, what? What are you talking about? Because <laughs> I'm reading 366 on here. <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> right, so here we go. We'll just do this last one and then we're going to do a rose. I'm going to do a big extended rose. Just one minute. I thought they were going to come in longer than that. I think they were going to come in as well. So, so I've got my new kitchen, and the people who were phoning on the phone before was was being cute, bringing the back panel. So three men have just come whizzing past the window there. I thought they were going to come charging in with the back panel. So my doggy walker, I did give him instructions to say, "Can you put it in the office?" But he obviously wasn't paying attention. <laughs> right. So here we go. So can we see? So we're squeezing, so we're building up our pile of nozzle, our pile of flowers here, and then we're going to do a big rose, which I know all of you love. Um, who has asked for about the colours? Colour. Zoe, we will run through the colours very quickly just to show you which ones Carol's used, but they are all from the Fractal range and they have gel colours. Um, so they're a mixture because Carol's done two toning for some of the um, nozzles, as you can see. Um, so we've had the orchid purple, we've had pink, we've had menthol, we've had vivid green and lemon yellow. I've not used the menthol colour yet though. Right, okay. We're going to use it in a minute, but we're going to use it on the one in Wilton. Right, so, don't know what you can see there. Can you see this pile of uh, cupcakes cakes um, all getting together? Not, not quite. <laughs> Should we just turn that camera right. around a bit? Yeah. So you can see all the cakes there are forming together and these are the colours that we've been using, yeah? So can you see that? Yep. Orchid purple from the Fractal range. These are all suitable for vegetarians, vegans and those on a halal diet. Pink, I've only used a tiny bit. This lemon, do not put much in, okay? Otherwise they will see you from outer space. Jackie Heaton came, the back baking nana. She did a dome cake, which I swear to God, if all the lights went out on the world, you would have seen her cake. It was fluorescent. We're using the vivid green. And I've not used the menthol yet, but we're going to, yeah? So those are the colors that we're using today. We've also used some of the Wilton sugar sprinkles. We've got them in gold and in white. White's really very pretty, especially if you dust and then put them on the side of the cake. So that's these then, okay? And I'm just gonna refill up my rose bag. A minute, so just give me a minute. So which camera will, Laura? Okay. So 
so we can tuck it there yeah so i'm just going to refill up my rose bag because i've done these so i'm just going to take the pink out from there just because i've got no more left in the bowl i'm just going to shove it in there and take it all what's out the tube yeah and then i'm going to scrape out what's in here Yes, if you ever want to come on a class, it is good fun. You do go on with a lot of cake. I will tell you, I have no idea. I baked 300 cupcakes on uh, Friday night. And uh, they were all supposed to take 24 kept cupcakes home. I've no idea what they did with them, but they took all 300. Yeah. So, just cleaning that. Go on, what's up, Laura? <laughs> Maria Dan's popping in to do cleaning. Her OCD's kicked in. So, <laughs> she can't cope. So you can see I've got air in the bag there now. We're just going to have to live with it because this is a double bag. So we're just going to have to wait for it to explode. So <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to use the Wilton 1M. No, we're not. Uh, we're not using the Wilton 1M. We're using the Wilton 104. I was just testing Laura and Maria there <laughs> to make sure they knew. And Maria picked it up straight away, shook her head straight away, so well done, and then followed by Laura. So well done, team. Like you know your products. <laughs> so the Wilton 104, you want the wider end at the bottom. And when I say the bottom, see that frill there? So that you know which is the bottom, keep the, that end here and the thin end in line with the frill. You don't have to, you can have it sideways, whichever way you want, it doesn't really matter but it's the way I like you to remember, yeah? So, let me get some pink on my palette knife. And... <clears throat> Any questions, Laura? Um, Linda Mars has just said, can you do a live on how to make bright red and black buttercream because it's so hard to get the colors? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> We'd be here for a long time. <laughs> There's various ways of doing it, okay, of getting bright red and uh, black buttercream. But i tell you how I make it, and you'll probably kill me for it, but this is how I make it. So all my used up, all my butter now, that's here in these bowls. Yeah, I will put them all together, including the green, yeah. I'll put them all together, including the green. I'll mix them together. They'll become a horrible manky colour. And then I'll start adding red to it. In fairness, I think if you use orange and yellow, is it orange and yellow? I don't know. You can add more red to that. That will make it red. Um, but I tend to put everything all together, start adding red to it. And then I leave it overnight. Because if you leave it overnight, it matures. And that's the best way to do it. Um, but, you know, everybody has a different way. Some people put cocoa powder in, but I don't like the taste of the cocoa powder in it. So, anyhow, you'll see that this is 104. I've folded the bag in half. And where that thin, where that frill is there, I'm going to pop it so it's there between my finger and thumb. Yeah? So it's going to go there. And then I'm going to get some buttercream on my palette knife. And I'm just going to scrape it up there. Can you see that clear enough? Yeah. Yeah? And then I'm going to get some white buttercream. Just one second. Let me just get some white. So Julian and Smith, exactly as people have answered your question, the difference between fractal and colour splash is simply that it's a different brand and there's different shades of colours. Yeah. You can use whatever colour you want. I, I just use, I use two brands. I use three brands actually. So we sell three brands. I sell the Color Splash range, and I sell the Color Splash range simply because it's cheap. It's very reasonable, okay. But it's actually a very good quality for a very reasonable price. Yeah. It's also got a thin little nozzle on it, which really helps when you're using only a drop. I hate the liquids. I hate coloured liquids. I really do hate them. I never get them right. And then um, and then the Fractal range is really intense in colour. And the Pro Gel is as well. Yeah. So it's just, just what you prefer, isn't it? And 
you just all use what you prefer. I used to use those ones in a little pot that you had a cocktail stick in. And they're lovely, there's some beautiful colours with them. But I ended up with the most filthiest hands going with a with cocktail stick. And then once you dip your cocktail stick in the colour, you can't put it back in again. So you put the into the colour, you put it into the buttercream, and then you can't use it because you're going to put buttercream back into the colour again. So, uh, but they were fabulous colours. It's just the process that I really didn't like. Not, nothing wrong with the colours. So you'll see here now that I've got two colours, yeah? Mm -hmm. So let's get my green board again. So we're going to get my green board again. And then we are going to... My nozzle's turned round in my bag. Let's turn it the right way. So that's the bottom, that's the top, and we're just going to run it until the colour comes through. You'll see the colour come through in a minute. So there we go. Yeah. I'll start coming through lighter in a minute. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So then we're going to do the rose. Let's get a nice bun. Let's see. There we go. <clears throat> Are you enjoying this session? Yeah, there's loads. There's loads of people just saying, you know, it's such a good tutorial, um, and it's it's great to be able to answer the questions as well. You know, as you go along. Yeah. And you're going to remember, guys. You know, I really support my my business. You know, I do everything I can to make my business succeed. And most, you know, lots of you follow me and use my business. You know, and I, I'm really committed to doing a Facebook Live. I bring Laura and Maria in every week. We got rid of John because John was too busy being in the fridge. But, you know, we're very, very, very supportive of the company. And the best way I can do this is to talk to you live about the products that we sell. My son laughs, laughs at me and calls me a market trader via Facebook Live. And I suppose he's right, really, a modern day market trader. But I think this way you get to know me, you get to know my personality, you get to know the staff, you get to believe in the company, and that's what I'm looking for you to do. I don't want to be hiding behind the company. I don't want to be somebody you don't know. I want you to come to Sugar and Crumbs and know that you're buying a quality product and I've shown you how to use it. And that's why when we do demonstrators, we get demonstrators in on Mondays, it's because we believe in their product and we get them in and we get them to show you how their product works. And so many of you have learned so much and the community group we set up the community group it's called sugar and crumbs all about cake community and it's for all about sugar and crumbs products it's all about cake so you can show off your cakes it's about a community so that you can talk on there okay so we don't like any scrapping on there so don't ask about pricing <laughs> There's a special unit I put up for pricing now, but no rows in there. Um, if you go into the community, there's a section of, root, of units. Go in there and add in your chocolate cakes, your Christmas cakes, your novelty cakes, your adult theme cakes. Go in, in there and add them, have a look at them. Loads of people have put in loads of stuff. So uh, go and enjoy that community group, it's great fun. So we're going to make an extended rose. So this is how we make the extended rose. Now this one kills all of you, this one. So let's just... So Laura, can we see on there? Yeah. So we're gonna sit the nozzle on the side of the cake, not on the top. We're gonna to squeeze and we're gonna get our rows. So let me just get my other nozzle. So we're gonna get this one. And um, I don't know how well you can see, but basically we're doing a semicircle. Yeah? In that semicircle, we're going to go halfway and we're going to lift over again. Yeah? And you keep doing that and you keep halfway through each semicircle, you keep lifting and squeezing. Can you see how the flower's going to come? And then we're going to do it again. You see this rose growing? Do you like it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're right-handed, if you remember what I said about the nozzle, you keep that on the base, and it doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you keep the bigger end on the base of the cake and you go up like a rainbow or a semicircle. <laughs> and once you've done that one, 
you go halfway in and you go up again. If you're left-handed, you just go that way, okay? This is the difficult one. We're going to lie the nozzle down now. We're still going to have the base coming in, yeah? So, get my foil down. So the base is now in, we're gonna squeeze and we're gonna lift up. We're gonna go underneath, squeeze and lift up. Squeeze and lift up. Squeeze and lift up. Just drop your hands down. Look. Sorry. That's it. Squeeze and lift up. Squeeze and lift up. And then the last one, see this one here, this is your first petal. You're gonna go under, squeeze, and you're gonna bring it round on top of your first petal, yeah? So then we're just gonna put our foil up there. And then we're going to put our roses in. So one, two, three. Pop the foil up. Where's the leaf? And we're just going to squeeze. And round here, we're going to do a few little drop flowers just to fill in. There you are. Do you like that? Beautiful. Yeah? Good. So, who wants to see that one again? Go for it. I don't go for it. I don't, I don't think you'd have, uh, ha, you would have anyone complaining if you did it again. Right, we'll do it one more time. But this time we're going to put two roses on it. Two big roses, yeah? So let me just fill up my green piping bag for my leaves. One second. So I hope you're enjoying this session. I know we're going over slightly, but that's because we had to start the whole thing again. It's good so many of you come back and watch these Facebook Lives. I'm looking forward to meeting so many of you. So the two shows that I'm going to be at this year is Cake and Bake, okay? Um, Cake and Bake London and Cake International. So Maria has been busy designing badges. So for all those who come and buy off me at the Cake and Bake show, you get a badge. You take your picture that you were at the stand with your badge on and uh, post it on our Facebook page can't do it yet because it hasn't happened and then you do the same for cake international we've got two great prizes for you as well and then um we've got our last magnet just been made we're not going to make any more after magnet gate we've made our last magnet <laughs> we're traumatized by magnet gate <laughs> okay but Maria has made a beautiful magnet. It's absolutely lovely, we can't wait. Apparently it's arriving Monday, Tuesday, is it Maria? Yes. So we should be dispatching them about October. Right, okay. So let's move that one over. Let's get another cupcake, sorry. So we're going to do this last one and then I'm just going to do you a 1M rose. So we're going to put our buttercream in here and this is going to be our double rose. So always peak your, cake, your cupcakes as well if you can, dome them. To dome them you just need to put them on a higher heat. Right, so where's that rose? Um, what day is your Nifty Nozzles class on Carol? The next class is Saturday the 10th of November. And there's still spaces available. Book and stop for is a great day. So it's the first time I had so many students in. I learned a lot of lessons on Saturday. More, more weighing scales. So again, half a semicircle. Can you see? Can you see those? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you just keep going in. So see where the end of that one is there? Just go over. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. And I'm gonna go around again, and go around again. What are you laughing at, you? People's reaction to the last magnet. <laughs> oh, to the magnet? No, yeah, the last no magnet. No more magnets. We might do an odd one now and again, but we're not doing them like we have done. 
Because of magnet gate, and if anybody wants to know about magnet gate, I'll tell you. I'll just wait and see if he wants a response. But because of magnet gate is why we're stopping it. It didn't work out as we intended. <laughs> the idea was that John and I spend 700 quid on magnets and throw them in your box, okay? So lots of you said you didn't get one. So we then had to... Um, Mike just ran out of the screen, let me fill up. So why am I telling you this story? So we then um, had some little compliment slips printed. So there's an extra 300 pound cost. Then we had to buy all the bags to put the compliment slip in and the magnet in. And there's another cost. And then we had to staple them to all the invoices, which the boys was going mad about, about having to staple these magnets to the invoices. And then some poor soul, me, followed by Laura, occasionally Maria, okay, had to sit there and bag the magnets. So, this little 700 pound cost has now become a fortune. The only time it's cheap is when I'm doing it because I still don't get paid yet. So, um, we can't, so basically we've stopped it because it's a, an unnecessary cost. And in fairness, we freaking can't stand magnets anymore. So we're having our last beautiful one designed. It's a Christmas one, and I will say it's absolutely lovely. She's good as our Maria. Still keeping her passport, she can't leave the country. <laughs> Mind you, I let her go to Ireland a couple of weeks ago. That's not classed as leaving the country, is it? And you're coming to Spain, aren't you? So we're going to Spain. Right, so, this buttercream's hardening up and you can see my bag is stretching, yeah? So uh, it's putting pressure on the bag, so hopefully we're not going to get a burst, but you never know. So we've got our second rose on there. This is when it becomes really dodgy. So you're going to go in there, half a semicircle, half a semicircle, sorry, a semicircle. I've been calling these half a semicircles <laughs> for years and Cat Riley spoiled my mantra. <laughs> I've been very happy calling them half a semicircle. We're just going to go around again twice. Sorry. And that one we're going to have to come back. We're going to lie it down. Going to lie it down. We're so busy on the class, I never get you to this stage. So you have to practice this one. There's not been many classes that have actually done this double one. I'm going to pop a rose in there. So the magnet will be posted with orders as yeah. and when we run out of the current one. There's yeah. no set date, there's no set time. We've not frame. arrived yet, so don't get excited. Yeah. Don't, don't be saying I've got one, I've not got one. It's completely random as to how busy we are and, and what gets put in the orders, yeah. I'm afraid. Yeah, so the rest of the magnet gate, what happened was, is that one day the boys were really busy and they didn't put them in the orders. And it just so happened to be a day when John posted that you know have you got your free magnet and so many of you went no so John had to go into the warehouse and ask the boys what do we think of that that's, that's one hell of a cupcake <laughs> okay so that's one hell of a lot of butter on there I wouldn't do that for every cupcake if you were doing a wedding one I wouldn't do that for every one but it just shows you how much I can get on a cupcake do you like that so John went in the warehouse and said to the boys have you been sending out their magnets and he could see straight away that they hadn't so um, anyhow, we said to people we would put them in their next order, but people demanded, and I stupidly allowed them to demand, that we posted them. I mean, why, why they demanded we did it, but anyhow, people demanded that we posted them because we said they could have a free one. They weren't prepared to wait for their next order. So we then sent them in the post, so that meant Laura had to then print off labels, bag them up in an envelope, chuck down to the post office, and then we got messages on our community group with little one pound fifty charges. So we're flabbergasted at this then. Nobody came direct to us and private messaged us. No, straight on the community group. There you go. I've been charged one pound fifty. Then everybody starts ranting that how disgraceful we were at having a pay one pound fifty. It wasn't us. And it turns out it's our little magnet is in the envelope and goes down the conveyor belt. If it's on a letter, it's fine. But if it hits the conveyor belt, the, the sensor picks it up, the magnet magnetizes slightly, 
and adds a bit more weight. So you've got to charge. So I had a load of £1.50s to pay. So now you know why we call it Magnet Gate. We hate it. <laughs> yeah, it's cost me a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go this is your last magnet <laughs> we're finishing off the year if John had his way you wouldn't be getting this one either <laughs> we've had to beg for this one haven't we <laughs> right so that's all the cakes put together now so now we've got to get them oh this is what we're going to do we're just going to two-tone this one so let me move this out of the way I'll move that over there so do you like them by the way beautiful yeah so there you go Maria stop yawning so we're going to use the 1M Wilton now, and I'm just going to use this blue, this is the menthol blue, now it, it has hardened up a little bit, so I'm just going to two-tone, now two-toning and triple-toning it's all the same, okay, but we're going to two-tone, in fact, you know what, let's just triple-tone it and then we've got it done then, haven't we? So we're going to triple tone this one. Yeah, so the bloom, the new blue magnet, the new winter one that's coming out is beautiful and that should last us till Christmas. And then there's going to be those of you at the cake show, we're doing special badges for those who come to the cake show. So we've got special ones for cake and bake. And then we've got special ones for Cake International as well. The Cake International show is at Birmingham, the NEC, the first weekend in November. So just let me get all this pink off in a minute. You will see there's white and yellow in here. That's because I've given up. I've lost the will to live. Paula Flynn's foot. So, ladies and gents, if you don't get a magnet, tough. <laughs> well done. Who says that? Paula Flynn. Yeah. <laughs> I just never understand why everybody had to take it to the group. I'm such a reasonable woman. You know, come and speak to me about it. I'll put you five in your next one. I really don't care. It's a freebie. Eh? It's a freebie. Okay. <laughs> it's like when you have a complaint, you know, you go and put it on the group. Why don't you come and talk to me? You know, your phone, your mate, your telephone all. Don't you got a problem? Just dropped all the butter on the floor. If you've got a problem, just come and talk to us. Don't have to take it to the group. You know, some of you harp on about um, Hermes and DPD. Unfortunately, I don't own those companies. They're couriers. You know, life is life. You know, sometimes there's something, you know, sometimes a courier, you know, his van breaks down, the conveyor belt breaks down. You know, sometimes these things happen. Right, okay. I'm just going to warm this up a little bit now. minute. I think I cut my bag with my scissors before. So, right. Hey, Maria's onto <laughs> it. Well done. So when you use this nozzle, you don't actually need to um, crumb coat it. So this nozzle is the Wil Wilton 1M. And we're just, let me just see if I can get the colour out in a minute, one second. Let's see if the three colours are coming out yet. Yes, there it is. So we're just going to, in the middle, squeeze, overlap, and go round and round and off. It has just broke simply because my buttercream is a bit too firm. So round, round, and round, and off. And then we're going to get our leaf nozzle on the end there. Just tuck it in on the end. I'm just going to put a nice big leaf. Yeah. Same again on here. Can put a nice bit of leaf, yeah. Lovely, super. All right, let's move all this up out of the way. Right, okay, now let's get our bowl. Let's move all this out of the way. How's our 
audience are still with us. Good, yeah, absolutely. You're still with us, eh? Do you yeah. like it? <laughs> so you all enjoy the Facebook Lives, which I'm really pleased about as well. So uh, it's well worth my efforts. We've got Marion Frost coming in on Monday for Patchwork Cutters. She's going to do some brush embroidery for you, a model, and use one of her cutters as well. And then next week, we've got Claire Corbett coming in, and um, she will be doing, um, I don't know yet, she hasn't told us, she has a couple of ideas. So here we go. So we've done, we've, I showed you this before, but I think it was in the previous one. So just a bowl, any bowl. You'll all have one at home. This one's just one from B&Q. Can you see that, Laura? Yep. This one's from B&Q. We're just gonna layer it with tissue paper, just randomly across. I'm gonna squeeze it in a little bit. And then we've got a styrofoam dummy. Yeah, now that comes into, that comes as a ball. I've just untwisted it. It's an eight inch one, this one. We're gonna cover it in tissue paper. I don't know which camera we're on, Laura. But the middle. So yeah. I can see the bowl. So I'm just going to move these cakes out of the way so they don't get hit. Just one second. And then you need food safe cocktail sticks. Okay, thanks. Oh, yeah. And then what we're going to do is, now you do need to hold this because if you start putting all your cakes on one side, it's going to slip. Yeah. So this is what I do. So I put my cocktail sticks in and then I get my first cake. And we're just going to sit that on there. Yeah. Sit that on there. Just gonna work round and I'm just gonna have to move some of these cakes out of the way, Laura. Could you just move a couple of them out of the way before I bang them? Because I don't know whether they can see them there. Yep. Right, am I still on the camera? Yep. So we're just going to keep pushing them down. Yeah. Keep working round. Have we got anybody from abroad with us today? And there was a lady on from Malta before. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure she said that she was going to the show, one of the shows. Right, okay. We've got a couple of ladies from Malta that follow us and I met quite a lot of them. We've got a supplier in Malta, the Cake Story. He stocks our rice and sugars. <clears throat> I'll just keep going round. Adding these on. I'll just keep popping those in there. Keep holding the ball. Sometimes you make them a bit too wide. Let's just move that one there. Right. Just make sure you keep holding this. Don't let go. Someone's asking what the nozzle was on the first cake you put on the dome. Yeah, well, we'll come around to it in a minute. Okay. This one is called Marigold. Yeah, can you see him? Yeah. Called Marigold. Then we've got Beauty. And then we've got, I'm going to pull that one off because I don't want him there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what should we put in there? We'll put this one in there. We'll put Night Jasmine in there. Yeah, oh, we've got Kim Rogers on from um, Australia watching. Fantastic. And then we will... Has our Ella not turned up yet? I've not seen her. She's normally watching. Might have missed her before if, if, if she might have been on the first feed. Yeah. Just keep going. We'll have to count up how many cupcakes we use. So, the rows. 
Paul often says it's a lovely centrepiece for a table. Yeah, just something nice and you can pull them off quite easily. So, uh, oops, just dug my flower in that one. Dug my cocktail stick in that one. Have I ruined the design? No. <clears throat> Sometimes you just have to jiggle them about the cocktail sticks. And it's best if you just wait till your cupcakes have hardened a little bit, but obviously because we're live, I need to go with it oh, now. Oh, Kat Riley says Ella was on before. Oh, was she? Yeah. Right. Oh, bless her, we didn't get a shout out. That's my granddaughter, she lives in Australia. So, uh, we've missed her. I think she might have been on the first session because I've definitely not seen her name pop up yeah. here. No worries. So now, it's a bit safe now to let go. Whew, I can let go now. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Breathe, yeah. And then we're just going to carry on. So we're going to put them sort of like in the centre there now. Try and get one that I've not had on before. Yeah. Do you all like this? Yeah, it's lovely. So you will see I've squashed them in a little bit, some of them, and that's because unfortunately I'm trying to get them on while they're still wet. So it's best if you just leave them to set a little bit, you know, just let the crumb coat harden over. Makes a massive difference. And then this one here, we best get the big boy in now, aren't we? <laughs> so let's just take that out and lower that one down a little bit. Got to get that big feather in. So where's that big fella gone? Where is he? Oh, is he? There he is. There he is. The queen of cupcakes. There you go. Come on, fella. All right, sticks have to go down a bit more. So that one's in. And then we're going to push this one in. Get a couple more in there. Top. I love this one. I'm not going to put the other one on because these are different one all together. Mm. So we'll just get that one in there. And then we can tidy a couple of these up afterwards because I've still got um, I've still got some buttercream so we can tidy a few of them up where we made mistakes where I've squashed them in. Because the buttercream is still soft, if you just left them a couple of hours to crust over it'd be better but I haven't got enough to talk to you about for a couple of hours. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yeah. a bit unusual for me, actually. I've got loads to talk to you about for a couple of hours. Oh, I'm on about. So um, let me just see. I've just got to try and get that cake in there. Push them in there. And then we're going to try and get one more in here. I'm going to have to move this one over a bit. Right, so we've got too many cupcakes made, so that's fine. We've got those, we've got those. So let me get some more tissue paper now. So all I've done is just cut these up into any shape of random square, it doesn't really matter how long. And we're just going to just let me get something in a minute. Uh, Sam Smith, it is cocktail sticks that Carol's using, yes. Um, so just a couple inserted for each cupcake just to hold them, hold them steady. So I'm just going to squeeze a couple of these, just randomly squeeze these up and then just pop these in between the cupcake. Can we bring the bowl over a little bit? Yeah, sorry. That's it. Surely 
they're doing is, I'm just using a palette knife really, so I'm just squashing them up, sticking a little bit in. And I'm going to put these around. So the lady just asked, will she be able to watch, catch up on the video? So yes, um, this half of the Facebook Live that's been streaming a bit better for everybody will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page. Much better. Um, and then you can just recap as many times as you want, really. It'll go on our YouTube channel. So Maria will download it all later and she'll put it on YouTube. It usually takes a couple of hours to upload. Uh, so sorry you have to watch me do the boring bit here. But what do you think, guys? Do you think you'll give Beautiful, this a go? Yeah, lots but, and lots of positive comments. So you, what my advice to you would be is to just wait until you till your cakes have crumb coated over so they've gone hard a little bit. Who's that walking past now? Oh, Is it the gardener? <laughs> we miss him since we've come out the other kitchen, haven't we? We don't see him so much now. Um, Amanda Machen just asked, could you freeze the cupcakes with buttercream on? You can freeze the buttercream and you can freeze the cake together I'm not sure how you'd wrap them, that's the thing, and they never really last for us here, do they? No. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I really don't know, but maybe somebody else could say how they would wrap them together. I, I wouldn't know how to put them together. But did you see Marks and Spencers were doing them? Marks and Spencers uh, did some, uh, no, did some uh, tulip cakes. Ah, I have seen. Yeah, mm. they were using them as well. So I think that's enough now. I think I've just shoved enough in there now. So that will do, won't it? I can finish it up and mess about with them afterwards. So, there we go. That's our bowl of cupcakes. What do you think for the Beautiful. table? It's quite a nice little display, isn't mm. it, for Christmas? Something different. You could imagine if you did them all nice and red, all nice and red and pink. So I think they just look really different, don't they? You've got, got to get somebody to get the first one off, though, and then once you get them off, they're all right, they are really easy to get off and they taste delicious. So I would make your cupcakes the day before, decorate that night, leave them overnight, set, crust over, and then in the morning on the day that you're gonna use them, put them all together. I think they make a great wedding table celebration display as well. And um, I hope you enjoyed it today. So is there anything I need to remember to tell these ladies and gents? Nope. Right, so don't forget, if you're watching the Great British Bake Off, Sugar and Crumbs is following it. We're doing a Sugar and Crumbs Bake Off 2018. Um, it's all a little bit of fun, so you can have up to three entries into the competition. If you go over to Sugar and Crumbs um, All About Cake Community, I think it's Unit 28, post in there and uh, post your this week's um, spread week this week, isn't it? Yes. So you do signature, showstopper and technical okay or you can just do showstopper or you can just do signature it's entirely up to you but however many times that you enter gives you more times in the draw we find that the draw is the fairest way to do it i know some of you are absolutely amazing but i want to give everybody a chance and because we can't actually taste them we feel that the fairest way is that you've all made the effort so let's put all your names in the box who've entered into the bowl who's entered and the only time you'll get more names in is if you do or you know do two entries or you do three entries. Um, Laura and Maria will be doing the draw on Monday. It will be Marion Frost who's going to pull out the winner. I'm not here for the next two weeks, but I am watching and commenting and keeping an eye on these two, what they're up to. Okay. So Marion Frost will be here on Monday at eight o'clock live. She's going to be doing brush embroidery. She's going to be doing the live draw and Maria and Laura are going to be hosting and looking after her. That means that Laura has to come in front of the camera and say hello to you all, which she just loves. <laughs> so she's dying behind the camera now. On Thursday, Laura, my daughter, is coming along. I'm not quite sure what she's making yet. I'd like her to make something with the winter flavours. So she's making something on Thursday for you. The following week, we've got Claire Corbett. Then we've got my daughter, Laura, in again. And then I'm back here on the 1st of October. And on the 1st of October, we've got a lady called Susan Esper. 
She's from Scotland and she designs stencils for Evil Cake Genius. So you guys who are Evil Cake Genius fans and you love their stencils, she actually designs them. So she's coming down and she's gonna show you how to use them. They are pre-orders, okay? So um, because of the, they're, well, they're expensive and because they have to be made by Evil Cake Genius, we're only going to take pre-orders for those on the 1st of October. So we'll take a small deposit off you and take the balance when they come in. Talking of that, Dawn Butler's uh, Dinky Doodle Airbrush, we did say it was coming in at the end of September. We're still expecting it for the end of September. Dawn still believes it will be here at the end of September. I'm back in the office on Monday the 1st of October and I will be on the phone calling you all for the balance of your pre-ordered um, at Dinky Doodle airbrushes providing they've arrived in our office so while I'm away I'll be chasing Dawn but I will keep you all updated so do remember you've only paid your deposit you've not paid the full amount but they will be dispatched as soon as they come in and only when they're on our premises will we actually phone you for the rest of the money because I don't want to ask for any money and then there's a delay, okay? They're coming by ship, they've got to clear customs and customs is not always the quickest. Sometimes they're quick, sometimes they're slow and then they've got to get to us. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Facebook Live, okay? I know it's been a longer session because we've had to do it again, but this is a bowl of Nifty Nozzles Cupcakes, the genuine Russian piping tips. We've put all the uh, nozzles into the wish list. So if you go over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, there's a Facebook wish list at the top, drop it down to September and then Carol, a bowl of cupcakes. And the nozzles that we've used today, just the nozzles we've used today are in that wish list, not all of them, plus the colours. Um, you might find that some of the colours, you can't see the colours, but I am going to run over there. Oh, have you done them? Oh, Maria's done them. As I explained to you before, um, we, got a new, we got our new debit card and um, our server, I missed the email where uh, we didn't update the new payment. So all our images are off and I'm just waiting for them to reload. But in the meantime, we're, we're actually loading them ourselves because they don't see us as a priority. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's me rittering on with myself. The joys of owning a company called Sugary Crumbs. Have fun. So I, I won't see you on Monday, but Laura and Maria will. Have a super, super weekend and thank you for joining me today. And just before Laura presses that magic button, is there any final questions, Laura? No, she said, no, there isn't. She was just going to think you. Right, bye-bye. <laughs>